Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll be putting the heart rate sensors of both of these devices to a test against the pulse oximeter and compare it to see which one is accurate. So let's get started. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular awesome videos like this one, smart watches and smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find categorized videos for various content we post on this channel where you'll find a playlist exclusively for Galaxy Watch Active so be sure to check it out. Alright, before I start the actual comparison, I want you guys to know two key points. Number one, this is not a medical grade comparison. I'm not even using a chest strap for precise medical grade monitoring. This is just to compare relatively how much variation is there between both of these devices. You are advised to proceed with caution and do not rely upon such fitness tracker or any similar devices for making decisions regarding your medical condition or health. Fitness smartwatches offering biometric measurements such as heart rate, ECG, blood oxygen, etc. should be considered supplemental to seeking true and accurate reading taken under optimal condition by trained professional using accurate and calibrated equipments. If you feel concerned about your health, do not self-diagnose, seek proper medical medical advice and remember it's a fitness smartwatch. Now number two, let me briefly explain you how does a smartwatch tracks your heart rate and what it can mean. So the optical heart rate sensor found in most fitness trackers today uses photoplethysmograph which basically projects a green light to the skin from the photodiode and measures changes in the light absorptions. And that's why if you have a continuous heart rate monitoring on, you will see that green LED light flickering at the back of the watch. Now this pulse oximeter sort of works on the same principle, but it's your finger versus your wrist where your finger has easy access to small digital arteries in your finger and the chest strap like this one uses electrodes to measure your pulse which is more accurate than the photoplethysmograph. The strap is also worn close to the heart and is less prone to sliding around while exercising which leads to more accurate heart rate reading. So that being said, you can imagine that the Active 2 will have more reliable tracking since it has 8 photodiodes. Versus the Active 1 which has 4 photodiodes. Now knowing your heart rate provides an objective measure that can be a motivator and can also inform you as to how hard to push during workout. In general, if you are able to maintain an elevated heart rate more comfortably, you are getting more out of your workout. Okay, let's start the test by measuring my heart rate at rest with all these devices. So I will keep both of these watches on my wrist, active 2 will be on my left wrist, active 1 will be on my dominant wrist and the oximeter will be on the right hand index finger. I would recommend to make sure that the watch fit perfectly as if not it may contribute to an inaccurate reading especially when you're working out or running and keep in mind having sweat on your wrist may make the watch slide a bit more. Now when you go in the heart rate monitor of both these devices you will find an option to measure as shown over here which I don't as I have selected the continuous heart rate monitoring. You will get your statistics from the entire week with your minimum and maximum heart rate for current and the last week. You can see my maximum for the last week was 219 as I do really push hard during running workouts. Anyways, when you click on the setting icon, you'll get three options to measure continuously, measure every 10 minutes while still which is what I prefer to select as this option does save battery life as the sensor is not active all the time and the last one is manual measurement. So let's go ahead and see what variations we get among all these devices.
Relatively speaking, I have owned and used both of these smartwatches almost since they were announced and what I find is that the heart rates are just few beats apart among these devices. You will not see a significant difference as you have seen over here and for the most part it's pretty accurate even during workouts. Let me show you an image I took today after my warm up session and these are the findings I got. So you can see they are pretty close. Now let me show you what I got during the exercise. Now today I did, I just did the resistance workout for legs and shoulders and just for the video purpose I paused in between and took this video clip. So as you saw there ain't a lot of difference, however I have personally noticed that active 2 is always close to the oximeter and active 1 slightly falls behind but it really would not affect a regular user. So in conclusion both these watches are fairly accurate but I personally find active 2 more precise if I were to compare. And that's obviously makes sense as active 2 has almost double the number of photodiodes to measure the heart rate. However, the important takeaway from here is both of these devices will not alert you if you go above your maximum heart rate unlike the Apple Watch. For your information, maximum heart rate can be easily calculated by Caronen's formula that is 220 minus your age. So for me, it will be 187, but you saw in the picture that I went to 219 last week and frankly speaking at that rate I did feel like that's it I have to stop and that's what I did I reduced my speed again that's me I have been training and working out since few years and my body is used to going above my maximum heart rate so there you go I hope this video helped I'm also eagerly waiting for Samsung to roll out the update for the ECG function which they have projected to be out by February so stay tuned by subscribing. So I really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video it really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.